Hello, viewers, and today we take on the Joker as we try to get the tears back from him. So enjoy. Oh my god. Wait, something's just not right here. Where is it? Wait, did we see him crappy? Did we see him just fine just a few parts ago? Now he looks crappy? What the hell's going on? There's definitely something wrong here, but now he's better. What the hell? What, is it fluctuating? I don't... I think there's something wrong here, but I can't put my finger on it. There's always something to learn. Let's start with getting your ass kicked 101. There's something fishy going on, and it involves that mirror. I don't know what it is, but it's a mirror. Right? It's just a reflection. How can you be crappy one minute and be fine the next? That doesn't make sense. Unless it just doesn't work. Like he did say Mr. Freeze said it would it wouldn't work before bonding, but Please, I think it's just okay, I, I guess. So, so in, in this entire part, we have to take on Joker's thugs. Did oh, I did I spoil the surprise? Yes, you get to fight Joker and more thugs. And I do really like the, how it starts out, but yeah, I kind of cut there because I uh, kind of screwed up. So here's the, the gist of the fight. Okay, throughout the entire fight, there's going to be a train going through one way or another, or probably two trains at the same time. So you've got to try to stay in the middle as best as you can. While in this fight, you've got to be careful of Joker being in this fight. He'll probably do as any guard, any thug would. And right off the bat, after beating a couple of guys, we get to reintroduce Joker's main thug, Mr. Hammer, once more that we saw in the beginning. So this is the third and final fight with the Hammer Brothers. Yes, the Hammer and Sickle, the Russian twins. So, yeah, I'm not doing so well against Mr. Hammer like the first time. I was doing so much better. So, but le so yeah, don't be stupid. Just try to take down Mr. Hammer as quick as you can. Without not doing anything stupid, use your... The takedown, it really doesn't work much. Because I tried doing that takedown, but always screwing up. But after a few more guards you take down, a titan bug comes into the fight. And we have to start beating him up while still on the watch of more guards. So let's speed up some more thugs. With some more titans. Do a titan charge. Keep these thugs up. And try to keep it on the middle of the middle of the arena and try not to get hit by the train. They're really annoying if you Titan Shockwave, you could take out multiple guys, you get them in a good spot. If I think the thug does more damage, probably takes them out instantly, but I'm not sure I could be wrong. And we, and Joker has to go last, because whatever you do, trying to beat him up, you're never going to get him down. Use the Ultra Sun. Okay, that was a bad glitch there. And we finally take out the Titan. Beat these last guys up. And there's only Joker left with it. Joker and two next bugs. We go take it down, and we are finally done with Joker at long last. Time to finish him! Okay, what the hell, man? What's going on here? And Batman is 
track. Wow, whoever, wow, whoever caused that rubble. Well, Joker was damn lucky that time. I mean, Batman probably all ticked off because he stole the cure from him. Any last requests? How about a joke? Oh, ha ha ha. I think that was a joke from another comic, but I'm not sure. About that whole last request. And how about a joke? And what is Talia doing here? How does he know that we are in, in here anyway? Well, bully for you. Free Batman, and we will give you the secret of immortality. Don't do it, Talia. He'll be unstoppable. Uh, yeah, Batman has a point. If Joker becomes immortal, then he can cause all kinds of chaos throughout the centuries, and nobody can freaking stop him. Do we have a deal? Talia, you're a Freaking idiot! No. You can't be serious! And yes, Talia's officially gone AWOL and finally has become stupid. Okay, you know that slapometer? Yeah, she deserves a slap on the face. I just want to say, what the hell, man? And yeah, as we know, I think Talia used the same tracker that we that planted on the assassin. And now we're back so to no, Catwoman. You should have, watered How, have they you been there all that time? We've been on that line all that time. It's just like, oh god, this is boring. Well, in that case, I think what, we they've been deal. arguing you over a plant this entire time? If you get oh, me god. in there. I'll get your plans. I'll never Do understand it. women. No, no, I don't I want to sell sex with or anything. Just, just, don't try to kill me. Fine. No kiss? I'm kind of disappointed. Ouch. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, and now we're back to Catwoman. And we got a long track back to our next. This is the third part of her story. If you... Okay, I won't explain the third part of the story, because, um... Yeah, there's a part that you can just end the game right now, and just... And it'll be an instant... Game over. You win. It's over. You're done. You can take, you can have an alternate ending. And by the way, Catwoman can also pick up green Riddler trophies. And Batman can pick up the red Riddler trophies. Why? So let's do some more Riddler trophy exploration for trophies that we could get right now. Uh, like this one, you can whip, you can. Well, you have to whip the one that turns on when you whip all five of them. The Riddler trophy, the cage will open up, and you'll get your Riddler trophy. So you've got to remember which ones light up. And you, all you have to do is just wait until they all line up, light up, and you be done. Grab it, and then we can get back. This isn't and I think we're like kind of getting close to getting another level. I didn't even know he was in here. And we can't do this one without Red Batman. Just does what he does because, of his because we could use the explosive skill to get it. And Catwoman doesn't have carry any explosives at the entire at the time, so what the hell? And let's just and what we have to do is go all the way back to where the gate was in the second episode, the second part of her story. We just have to continue whipping our way over, over there until we finally finally get over there. 
Now for the roof that's going to come down, there is an explanation, a simple explanation. And now, in order to continue, we have to go into the sewer, but first we have to take out three Tiger Gods. A shield, a regular, and an armor. And I'm kicking so much ass against a Tiger Guard. These Tiger Guards are really damn stupid. So let's go down into the sewers. Continue our little hike inside the bolt. And I'm just going to let and now we got another level up. So we can easily make another upgrade. And yeah, we're going to upgrade Ballistic Armor version 4.0. There are Ivy's vines, and there's the storage facility. Nice work, Red. Time to get in there. And we just simply go through this door. Sorry. Through this door. And we get we need to get okay. inside that vault. The, vault. the only way is to pickpocket three card security really? three key cards from now. three tiger guards. You can't get those Deep two in the front the of the vault guards. because they'll see. And if they spot you, they activate an override. So next time we begin our little hike on the vault. On the main vault. So until then, enjoy!